Stancho Effect why Europe's top clubs can't meet the needs of young people in Britain. When Noni Maduk reached 16 he found himself in a position almost any young footballer would envy. A Tottenham youth captain, he could have continued there, and Manchester United and Chelsea made lucrative offers. Maduk chose none of these options. Instead, he joined PSV Eindhoven, moving with his mother to a small village in Brabant, his dad flying in regularly on the Stansted Eindhoven Ryanair shuttle to give extra support. On the pitch, he quickly made an impact for PSV's under-19s, then second string, whose coach, a certain Ruud van Nistelrooy, converted him from central attacker to winger. The way you dribble, the speed you dribble, you're wasted at number 10, van Nistelrooy said. Maduk sponged off and learned a lot of things. Maduk was a PSV first-team player before his 18th birthday, notched 9 goals and 8 assists in 2020-21 and began this season sensationally, with goals against Galatasaray and Midtjylland in Champions League qualifying, strikes in the Eredivisie and an electrifying Dutch Super Cup performance, where he scored two stunning solo efforts and tormented Ajax's respected Argentino left-back, Nicolas Tagliafico. A hamstring injury struck, but Miduk, 19, is approaching fitness again and ready to continue his upward progress. The big clubs of Europe are watching. PSV were surprised a Premier League talent of such quality, with such counter-offers, chose them but have provided what Miduk shrewdly perceived they would when he moved in 2018. It's something money cannot buy a young player, a footballer's most precious commodity, minute. Miduk embodies what one experienced intermediary describes as the Jadon Sancho effect. Sancho's spectacular switch from Manchester City Academy to Borussia Dortmund first team, aged 17 in 2017, effected a complete sea change in the way young British players speak to agents and the way their agents speak to clubs, said the rep, who himself has taken an England youth star to a continental European club. It's 100% more international. You've got German clubs specifically employing English scouts and German and Dutch clubs here en masse for under 18 and under 23 games. Players and agents are more worldly now. Sancho was the flag in the grass, agreed another agent who has taken England youth internationals to Germany in wake of Sancho. There are many parallels between Miduk and Sancho, strong-minded youngsters who saw blocked pathways at big six clubs, supportive families backing their decisions and young, fearless clued-up agents with international contacts and outlook. Miduk had been on PSV's radar after their scouts saw him play for England under 15 agents Belgium in February 2017, a game so obscure that it kicked off behind closed doors at St. George Park at 9 a.m. Maduk was 14 and teammates included Manchester City's Cole Palmer and Eunice Musa. On the bench was Jamal Musiala and a 13-year-old Jude Bellingham. PSV's scouting rivals Dortmund's also at an England under-15 game when they spotted Sancho. Sancho's move shocked Manchester City, where he turned down a £10,000 per week contract and promise of promotion to Pep Guardiola's first-team squad, but paid off in the shape of 20 England caps, 100 league appearances, two trophies, Champions League exposure and a £73 million transfer to Manchester United by age 21. Visited Sancho after his first seven months in Germany and he was clear-sighted about career strategy, even as a 17-year-old. I looked at the path, he said. A lot of young players come to Dortmund and become top, top players. I thought to myself, wow, that could be me. Age doesn't matter. Dortmund will play you if you're good enough. The best to follow Sancho's footsteps is the remarkable Bellingham who moved from Birmingham for Dortmund for £25 million just after his 17th birthday in 2020. Bellingham had his pick of Premier League clubs and even received a tour of Carrington and an audience with Sir Alex Ferguson as Manchester United threw everything at wooing him but made development his priority. In his first 18 months at Dortmund he became England's youngest ever player at a major tournament, Bundesliga Newcomer of the Year and Copa Trophy runner-up suggesting he made the right decision. He also has highly supportive parents and clear-sighted career strategy. There was the size of the fan base, the atmosphere, but also the opportunity to play, Bellingham told during a roundtable interview last season. It is as clear as day that if you come here and do the right things, you are going to get your opportunity. Dortmund hope the next Sancho will be Jamie Bino Giddens, recruited from Manchester City's Academy Weeks after his 16th birthday in 2020. Bino Giddens, an England under-16 winger, has three goals in two UEFA Youth League appearances this season. Other English Bundesliga youngsters include Rhys Oxford, 23, the former West Ham prodigy, now established at Augsburg, and Clinton Mola, 20, of Stuttgart. Mola was signed by Stuttgart's sporting director, the former Arsenal head scout Sven Mislintat, who revived Nav Phillips' career by taking him on loan at Stuttgart when Phillips wasn't even playing for Liverpool's under-23. Phillips returned with 19 Bundesliga two appearances under his best 
and speaking fluent German. Placing emphasis on language learning and off-field needs may be one reason German clubs are having such success with British youngsters. When Xavier Amici left Arsenal for Hamburg at 18, one of the first people Hamburg introduced him to was his new German teacher. For the past two years, Bayern Munich have employed a languages specialist who is with their first team squad every day, teaches foreign singings German and interprets during team talk. This has helped Omar Richards, 23, become a surprise success after joining Bayern from reading last June. Bayern learned from an early, unsuccessful foray into the English youth market with Dale Jennings, who was signed from Tranmere for £1.8 million, aged 18, in 2011 but struggled with the lifestyle and language, and Jennings' development stalled so badly he now plays for Prescott Cables in the Northern Premier League. Now, Bayern forensically research youngsters' characters and backgrounds before moving them from abroad, as do Dortmund, and beyond Germany, European clubs are succeeding with British youngsters. England under 19 defender Louise Binks and Scotland under 17 left back Aaron Hickey are impressing with Bologna, who want Aberdeen's 18 year old right back Calvin Ramsey. The Serie A trail was blazed by Liam Henderson, who left Celtic at 22 to find success at Bari, Verona, Lecce, and now in Poli. In France, there's Etienne Green, Saint Etienne England under 21 goalkeeper, and Angel Gomez. Sancho's teammate when England won the under-17 World Cup, who left Manchester United for Lille and awaits Chelsea in the Champions League knockout stage. In September, when 16, Zion Atta dismayed Crystal Palace by quitting their academy for Nice, after signing up with the super agent Mino Raiola. The Sancho effect also benefits established players, with Fikeo Tomori, Tammy Abraham, Chris Smalling, Ainsley Maitland-Niles and Kieran Trippier taking advantage of foreign clubs' improved perceptions of English players. England's recent success in age group and senior tournaments has also boosted the latter. Germany and Spain used to look at their youth teams winning tournaments, while England's failed, and see their youngsters as better, but all that's changed, a senior UK scout said. Eight players capped by Gareth Southgate in 2021 had foreign experience and 494 English footballers play professionally outside England. Scotland, Wales, Ireland and USA are the main destinations, but next are Germany, Spain, Belgium and Holland. Minutes remained that priceless attraction. In the 2020-21 Bundesliga, 7% were played by under-21s, which is getting on for double the Premier League figure. The Bundesliga is second youngest of the world's top 15 leagues in terms of average age, while the Premier League gives the lowest proportion of minutes to under-21s of any except the Chinese and Mexican League. Dortmund have been represented at most luster under 23 games this season and Dortmund and Bayern are well-established presences at Premier League youth fixtures. In recent weeks, at English Academy matches, our scout has encountered counterparts from both German giants, Juventus, Ajax, PSV, Empoli, Freiburg, Wolfsburg, Eintracht Frankfurt and Hertha Berlin. Data scouting and video scouting enables foreign clubs to identify and monitor talent remotely and the sheer interest in British talent is encapsulated by platforms such as Rising Ballers, the self-styled biggest Gen Z football brand in the UK, which has grown from collating content and videos of teenage players to running its own talent ID and grassroots team. The job market at the top of English football can't get any bigger, the scout said. You still have 92 clubs, with squads of 20 to 30, but there is more volume of applicants than ever for first-team jobs because EPPP allows clubs to have a vastly bigger number of players in the system, so it's logical that more and more will continue leaving England to play abroad. A young German player is different to a young Spanish player is different to a young English player, and English ones are known for being physically able and having a good technical and general education. European leagues are weaker. So the transition from Premier League Academy to European League is easier than from Academy to Premier League or even to the Championship in some ways. Sancho ripping up the Bundesliga at 17 opened eyes to that. Then there is the different way clubs abroad tend to be run. At most English clubs the manager still dominates recruitment, and a manager tends to think only of today and the next game, another agent who has taken young players abroad said. At foreign clubs, the sporting director dominates. So they recruit you with a development plan in mind. Players and their agents have also catoned on to the fact that scoring 20 goals in Holland, France, Germany, or Belgium is more likely to attract Premier League suitors than scoring 20 goals in the championship. Imagine the interest in Ben Brereton Diaz if he was scoring for Feyenoord, not Blackburn, they say. Running down contracts to open up the foreign market, 
like Sancho did, has become a ploy and youngsters are costing Premier League clubs more to keep as a result. The easing of COVID will see even more foreign scouts coming to English youth matches and new FIFA limits on loans should see clubs making earlier decisions on disposals, sending more Premier League academy graduates into the European market. Maybe the Sancho effect is still only just getting started. The numbers behind the story 1,687 minutes played by Jadon Sancho last season after Borussia Dortmund's first 22 league games, scoring five goals and with eight assists compared with 939 minutes played after Manchester United's 22 Premier League matches this season, with one goal and no assist. For 94 active English professional footballers outside England, playing in 48 countries, Scotland, Wales, Ireland and USA are the main destinations. Next are Germany, Spain, Belgium and Holland. Three Premier League clubs, Arsenal, Brentford, Southampton, this season have average age of 26.0 or younger. This compares to 14 clubs in Holland's Eredivisie, 